Hi guys and welcome back to Budget With Us and Alex is here today and I'm one half of the Budget With Us team and today we're going to be checking in on my week three of August budget so if you like the sound of this video please keep watching. Okay so today I'm going to be checking in on my week three budget so I've got my cash envelope binder here and my file of facts pad and let's see Move it down so you can see that there and i'm using the sheets from balancing the budget so this week three is from the 12th to the 18th of august so i've got one more week until i get paid again so week three here we go it's a green pen and uh, let's zoom you in and I will have to remember to keep moving you down so I had a rollover from last week of £496.60 and then I earned an extra income of £10.77 so that's from I sold a couple of items on Depop and actually no I sold one thing from Depop and two from Vinted which I'll leave my Vinted linked below like I've got Stuff that's brand new, never worn or worn once. And I, as you typically do, just can't bother to go and return it. Um, some Most stuff with tags without. And I mean, I'm just getting rid of it. So they're as low as like two, three pound. If you want it, have it. Send me an offer. I don't even care. I just want it gone now. So I can go back to work with a nice clean bedroom. Not full of bags of clothes. So... um. I'm going to say a nice little goodbye to this Poundland calen uh, calendar calculator because I have caved, we have caved and we've got the very popular um, calculator that everyone has here on YouTube and we have got the pink one. Easier to use, let's pray. So goodbye, Poundshot one, you've done as well. See you later. And that's everything. So we've got this nice bright pink one to go with our theme. And yeah, I had a poll up. Hope I'm, I'm really hoping I put this up tonight. Right, no, that's my mission. As soon as I finish coaching, I'm going to come home, edit it, get it up. Um, We have a poll on our Instagram about the new... quite a, Like last week, quite a few. We were asking, do you want us to just move everything over to our aesthetic, which is pink black and white or to stick to like how we do things we just we match the colors to what the tracker is um and i've just put live the poll of the three options we've come up with i'd be very grateful if you let us know what you think what i might do actually i'm going to insert a picture here now so you can see which one we mean and you can comment down in the comments your favorite one but it is on so we had four nine six 60 plus 10 pound 77 which meant it was 507 37 in total this week to play with and we have obviously paid rent on the 12th so i pay 50 pound every week to well it goes to my mum but to mum and dad for my keep and then my credit the other half of my credit card came out at 15.55 so that was right at 65.55 which means if I take it away it should be 441.82 left I've got Luna in here with me and she's just sniffing around. And then, so we move over to our variable expenses or what I call cash envelopes. So I did give myself £30 for spending. And I did give myself £10 to the dogs. So obviously Luna is mine. I pay for Luna's like insurance, anything like that. Her pet plan, any medical bills. But... Okay, you're happy now. You comfy? I 
Gucci's fan though. She's literally right at my feet. So I pay Luna's pet insurance pet plan and like any of her medical bills, but with the dog food, treats, toys, stuff like that, we go, we alternate every month. Hopefully she's not too distracting. Yeah, so I did give myself £40 in total for cash envelopes and the reason is I've not been giving myself fuel for the last three weeks, from the last two weeks is because I filled my car up and I'm still on just hitting half a tank now. But I think what I'm going to do is maybe give myself some next week, I'll see, just to have, just to build up. I'm not quite sure. So that would leave us with 400 and 182 and then we move into my sinking fund so these actually are all bar one my variable um sinking fund so these things that will chop and change they'll the amounts are different i need it at different times so i did give myself a hundred pound for car maintenance because i have my mot and service due i did give myself 40 pound for debt and I did do £5 for the 50 envelope challenge. Beauty I didn't budget for, but because I got the 10, I spent 10, give myself £10 on that. So if we add this up, is 100 plus 40 plus 5 plus 10 at 155 with no change. So 40182. Minus 155 is 24682, and I give no extra payments. So I have 246.82. But on my bank account, it's 244 left. I've got a few lips in the post office when I sent a parcel think so but yeah so that's this spread now let's see if it matches what we've got left um and the reason i've not put my cash stuff up from last week because i filmed it straight after the budget one and it just it was absolutely pitch black my phone overheated it just was a mess i couldn't find the ring light it was literally just me you could just see my outline you weren't even able to see any of this so now that we've moved into our HQ, hopefully we're going to see if there's a way we can start filming in there. So I'm not taking up my sister's room because I'm using her desk. But yeah, so that is why there was no video following my, my budget with me, but we will work. So this is the um, expense tracker from Balancing the Budget again. And I've just been splitting it to three weeks. So this is my expenses. So obviously I have my rents come out. I've withdrawn 185 for cash stuff in that week. Paid my credit card. I paid £2.17 postage. That's what I was missing. I pay, made sold some on Depop. So that's what I've gone through um, on... PayPal, I gave myself £10 beauty. I bought the, actually I was on a hunt for the Aldi dupe of the Bobby Brown and vit Vitamin Enriched Base moisturiser thing. Because it's like £40 and I thought, someone see, I seen it on TikTok, it was £5.99 at Aldi, it's exactly the same. So I've been on a hunt this week looking at Aldi every time and I don't think it's coming back. So I've found... I was looking at it on like eBay and Amazon to see if they're selling it. And people were like charge, trying to charge £34 for one. I was like, I could buy seven if it was at the Aldi price. But I thought I'd just see if there was someone selling um, the little mini, mini version of the Bobby Brown one. It was £7 with £2.35 postage. And I thought, that's what my beauty envelope is for. I'll try it and see if I like it. And if I do like it that much, I'll just save and get the, the actual Bobby Brown one. But I think it's 10 out of 10 for effort of trying to find the stupid dupe one. Apparently someone said there's Primark's got a dupe, but I'll see. 
looking at that so we're just going to do a quick highlight so green is my expenses so that'll be that one that there um income is this one just so it's highlighted And I'm going to do purple for sinking funds. So I'll put it there. There we go. So that's there. So I now this matches my account because I have 244.77 for next week left. And then this is my cash envelope spending. I'm doing the same thing. So week three, I added. £30 in spending, £10 into the move it down into the dogs. I didn't spend anything on dogs, it was all literally spending. And this is the issue that I'm having. But it's not really an issue. It's just I can't when I'm on like I finish work late, I just I can't be bothered cooking. But I've got a doctor's appointment next week because I've got some medical things going on. So this will obviously have to drastically change if it's what I think it is that is going on. But yeah, so we'll just highlight it so we can see those that like that sort of thing. Um, yeah, you can watch this. If not, speed it forward. Check the envelopes. So but we will double check that that is right. Now, I didn't fill in week two one on there but it is okay we'll move so I'm gonna go week three so I'm just gonna quickly fill these out so I budgeted nothing for fuel 30 pound for spending £10 for dogs and nothing for on budgeted so I had £40 to play with so let's get the cash envelopes out and to see so as you can see fuel is very much empty there so it's got so I spent nothing which means I have nothing in total left there or to roll over spending We have, let's see what we've got. Spending, we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 50. 54. So I spent, I have a total of 54. Which means I spent 29. 46. Is that right? Yes. Even. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll that over. Dogs. Had ten pounds, and we still have ten pound left, so that is just going to stay there. So I didn't spend anything, so I have ten pound left over, and then on budgeted I spent nothing, so it means I have nothing. So I spent a total of twenty nine forty six this week, and the rollover I'm only rolling over right well, this is where i get i probably confuse people to me roll over i would say it's just the 10 pound because that 54p will go to my penny challenge 
Is that right? No, it's not, is it? You would count the 54 because it'd go to you. No, well, no, no, I'm confusing myself. That's how I do it. If I carry over the, and any notes or coins like that I'd, in an envelope, that would class as my roll over. Because I'm leaving it there for next week. That 54 is being taken out of there and it's going to go. I, this is what I call roll over. It's just what I put in there for pennies and stuff. So if I, I think I'm confusing myself now. <laughs> right. The £10 in dogs is staying in dogs because that's being rolled over to next week. So it builds there up. But the £54 is going, 54p is coming out and it's going to this envelope which is just called rollover because what I'll do is the end of the month, I'll either use that for penny challenge or that there's some coins in there, I'll put it towards a challenge or something like that. Does that make a bit more sense? I hope it does. Because I'm confusing myself. If I've got it wrong, please comment down below and let me know because I can't, my brain is just, I've been off too long for summer. <laughs> this is what happens. But anyway, I'm going to put my 54B in this envelope. So yeah, that's what's going to happen. Yes. I'm just closing it now and letting it know because that's what's going to happen. <laughs> right. Hopefully that makes sense. I think that makes sense. I'm just, oh, this, you know what? I just, the more I say it, the more I confuse myself. So, let's go back to the calendar because, as you've seen, I've got some stickers that I could be adding. Where's my. So. I spent nothing. No, I did. I had rent. I spent something. I spent in Asda on the 13th. 14th, I didn't. So I can, that can have an overspend sticker. Go in red. But the 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th, I did. So that's all right. One, I had one no spend sticker this month, this week. So, yes, that is my check-in hopefully i've not confused you along the way but if i did it's i do apologize but yeah so that's all i've got for you today if you like this video or you've enjoyed this video please can you like comment share and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified of our next future upload and until our next video i hope you have a great week a great budget and bye for now guys